Vale, estupendín. Hoy tenemos... Grow. Operaciones especiales del general Canino. Con sus cinco finales que vamos a encontrar, ¿de acuerdo? Y ahí lo tenemos. Encuentro fortuito. Que está justamente ahí. Bueno, ahí está. Vamos a ver qué tal. A couple more visits and you'll find that the fur on your tail is silky smooth. A gorgeous tail like yours deserves lots of tender loving care. <laughs> Don't you agree? Uh, no need. I'm not <coughs> interested in that kind of thing. You say that, but do I see your ears saying otherwise? Although your tail isn't professionally maintained, the fur doesn't look dry and coarse. To me, this says you like to take care of it. I'm also guessing that you like to curl up into a fetal position and hug your fluffy tail tight as you go off to sleep. How do you know? <clears throat> Don't be ridiculous. I'm a high-ranking general of Watatsumi Island. How could I do such a thing? Oh, it's okay. There's no need to be embarrassed. The desire to cuddle up to a soft tail while sleeping is quite natural. Really? Wait, no, why are we still on this topic? In fact, why am I even here talking about tails with you in the first place? Why? Because you are blessed with a wonderful fluffy tail, that's why. Oh, I'm trapped. How do no I permitiré que te aproveches de Goro. It's you! Oh, thank goodness. Please save me. Oh, and how is my favorite little one doing, hmm? I didn't expect to meet you here. We were just talking about tails. Goro has a beautiful tail, don't you think? Doesn't it make you want to stroke it? Mirar la cola de Goro con discreción. Hey, not you too. <laughs> Goro, now do you understand how appealing your tail is? Uh, pardon me. Lady Gucci, we have completed the matter you instructed us about previously. We have selected a very skilled artist to be in charge. I'm confident that the finished product will be to your satisfaction. I'll take a look later, and if everything's in order, place it in front of the store. All right, I won't tease the two of you any further. Do make the most of your trip here, won't you? Quite a lot has changed. <laughs> I wish you both a fun-filled time on Narukami Island. Vaya, amigo, se va con la editora de la editorial ya, eh? There was definitely something strange about the way she looked at me in the end there. Could she be plotting something? Sorry that you had to see that. The real reason I'm here at Yai Publishing House is to buy some books for Her Excellency. Since Watatsumi Island signed a peace treaty with the Shogunate, we've had much closer contact than we did before. I also wanted to come and see what things are like in an area ruled by the Shogunate. I hadn't counted on running into her. Conoces a Yai, Miku? Uh, I've interacted with her a few times before, but I can't say I've ever gotten you. I've never been good at dealing with people like her. The way she towers over me and speaks so cryptically. Something about her is strangely intimidating. I could probably deal with her in battle, but I don't know where to start when I run into her in normal life. I guess this is a weakness of mine. Buah, ¿y si te ayuda a superar tu debilidad? Really? That would be great. To be honest, this is something that's always worried me. If the soldiers ever saw me in this kind of embarrassing situation, they'd be very disappointed. So, I have to overcome it. As soon as I've worked through this, let's go take on Yaimiko again. <sighs> First things first, though. Do you have any ideas on where to begin? Bueno, eh, puedo fingir que soy una de esas mujeres con las que no puedes lidiar. I see. So if you pretend to be someone like her, I can keep practicing on you. If I can get the better of you, then I'll be able to hold my own when similar situations come up in the future. Good plan. Let's see. Where should we start? Has estado antes en una eso, en una situación similar? Hmm. Now that you mention it, I remember having a similar experience back on Watatsumi Island. I was with my subordinates at the time. We ran into a merchant, I got caught up talking to them, and I don't quite know what happened, but I ended up buying a lot Entonces of things from pasar them. Por I think we can give it a try. There's an island called Rito nearby. Why don't we go there? I heard all the Outlander merchants are based there, so it might help to create the right atmosphere. Vale, vamos para allí. Bueno, bueno, qué bonito. Así es como se empieza, ¿no? Eh, sí, entrenamiento especial. Vamos a ir justamente ahí. Vale, hemos llegado. So this is Rito. Although it looks slightly gloomy, it feels very peaceful here. I don't see any Tenryo Commission soldiers roaming the streets. What a nice place. 
Okay, let's get started. I'll be me, and you be a shrewd and savvy businesswoman. Ah, eres tú. Viniste aquí solo para verme. Hi. <coughs> Hi. Uh, so, uh, a lot of the soldiers have been complaining about a shortage of blankets recently. So, uh, ten blankets, please. Son veinte mil moras. Okay, I'll settle the check right away. Eso es todo. The price seems pretty cheap to me. In which case, no need to haggle, Entonces right? son doscientos mil moras. I think that's still not too bad. Is that supposed to be really expensive? Uh, I'm sorry. In the past, Her Excellency has always handled procurement of military supplies. I don't know the specific prices of these items, so I never really know how to respond. Uh, this won't get us anywhere. I have to haggle to give you the chance to use your wily tricks on me. Con algo que well, te something más. I'm more interested in? Maybe, um, <laughs> cake? Cien mil moras por un trozo. That's so expensive. I know what a fair price is when it comes to cake. Vale, si quieres regatear, debes hacer lo que yo digo. Wait a sec. If you think about this from another angle, a cake that costs 100,000 more per slice must be so much better than a regular cake. Oh, let me see. I've been saving up recently. I think I should have enough. Un momento. So, there isn't really a kind of cake that costs 100,000 more per slice? No lo creo. Oh, what a shame. I feel like role-playing as a vendor is a little outside our area of expertise. What kind of person do we both see Conozco regularly enough con la to impersonate Then it looks like a trip into the wild is in order. Let's go give it a try. Venga, vamos a ver el Fatui. De acuerdo, pues hay que ir justamente ahí. Bueno, pues hemos llegado. Veamos qué hay que hacer. I've dealt with Fatui before, but I always end up against those big stocky guys who are much... I'm sure I must train just as hard as they do every day, but somehow I still don't have the muscles to show for it. Me agrada hasta y como eres. That's very kind. But still, I think that I should aim to look more muscular than my subordinates at the very least. I know that people's trust in me has nothing to do with my size, but if I were taller and bulkier, they'd be able to identify me from behind more easily when charging into battle. That way, our forces wouldn't scatter so easily. As long as I was on the field, they'd be able to follow me. But enough of that. Let's get back to it. Who are you going to roleplay as this time? ¿Quieres jugar cuantos más mejor? What? I smell danger. Creo que mi actuación fue muy convincente. Really? Huh. For a moment there, I could have sworn the actual Fatui were right here. No, wait. Behind you. It wasn't my imagination. They really are here. Prepare to engage. Vale, entonces hay que tener cuidadín. Bueno, no, que tengan cuidadín ellos. A ver, vence a los Fatui. Sí, yo lo haré. Vale, tío, a ver si no va mal Porque no sé, últimamente no puedo pelear Macho, es increíble O sea, cuando deje de hacer las misiones legendarias Yo no sé cómo coño irá esto Pero irá como el culo Porque se pegan tirones de la hostia tío. Mira, puedo utilizar a Glow Bueno, me toca, cambia Coco, mi coño Joder con los tirones, tío Yo no entiendo por qué coño va tan excesivamente mal Desesperante, tío Hostia, chaval. Lo de Scaramuch. It's all fun and games until the real Fatui show up, huh? That little interruption has really ruined the mood for me. Let's not do any more Fatui impressions for today. It seems in poor taste after the trouble they caused in Watatsumi Island anyway. Do we have any other options? Es hora del plan Z. Huh. What do you mean? Imitaré a la persona que más temes. Uh, is this moving a little too fast? Her Excellency advocates slow and steady progress in all things and cautions against trying to advance too quickly. To clarify, it's not that I'm scared. It's just that I don't know if the time is right. Ármate de valor e inténtalo. Uh, I guess you're right. Thanks for your encouragement. It's not like me to shy away from a challenge like this. Let's do it. Time for a make or break training exercise. Venga, vamos a ver, entrenamiento. Vale, aquí era las calles de Inazuma, justamente ahí. Vale, pues aquí. A ver qué tal. And we're back. Listo. Don't worry. My head's in the game this time. I am a high-ranking military officer of Watatsumi Island and the general of the resistance. Whatever tricks you've got up your sleeve, you're not going to get to me. So bring it on. Qué adorable. Hmm. This feels like Déjame ver esa cola. Yes, it definitely feels like. Ya, Emiko. Uh, no, not even slightly. It's not that you do a bad impression of her, more like 
something is missing. I finally realized it when you were talking to me just now. I think that maybe what I'm really afraid of is her knowing smile and her piercing gaze. It just makes me feel like all my secrets have nowhere to hide, like she can just peer in and see them. But it's different with you. I trust you, so I don't feel I need to hide my secrets in the first place. Even when you're imitating the way she speaks, I don't feel afraid. Because we fought side by side in the past, and I know I don't have to have my guard up around Tiene you. Sentido. <sighs> but it also means that this training won't work. I just have to accept that this is a weakness of mine, as much as it pains me to do so. The thought of having to live with this weakness forever is frustrating. ¿Por qué no vamos por un poco de Are you serious? I love that. I haven't eaten anything sweet in a long time. Off we go. Let's go buy some cake. Venga, a comprar pastel. Vas con Goro a comprar pastel. Sí, señor. Venga, vamos. All right. The next step is to find somewhere nice and quiet. A ver, un lugar tranquilo. Bueno, pues eso está un poquito más para allí. Así que venimos aquí y pum. Mm. Mm. This is so good. ¿No sueles comer pastel? <laughs> It's certainly a rarity in the camp. It's seen as a luxury item in the ranks of the resistance. We have special meals on occasion, but even then it usually means meat and wine. So, thank you for treating me to some cake. The only downside with Narukami Island's pastries is that they're such exquisite things, you can't just chow down on them. But, as Her Excellency says, a general needs to show patience and restraint. No me importa compartir mi pastel contigo. Wow, uh, don't mind if I do. Oh. Mm, that's so sweet. Oh. Ya está, qué bien, ¿no? Los postres son lo mejor, la felicidad es lo que más importa. Bien, primer final encontrado. Bueno, pues vamos a localizar los demás, a ver, porque hemos llegado hasta ahí. Vamos a intentar localizar a aquel, porque los otros están ahí. O sea que, a ver qué tal. Vale, el objetivo es... Ahí. Bueno, a ver qué quería. Hay que elegir cosas diferentes. Tenemos que llegar a otro lugar. Está bien, podemos ignorarla. In any battle, you need to think about how to avoid your shortcomings. As long as I don't come into contact with Yai Miko, everything should be fine. A ver, cuidado aquí, eh. En realidad, Yai Miko no es tan mala persona. Really? <sighs> well, it's a relief to hear that. In that case, I still have some business to take care of with the Yai Publishing House. They run a monthly magazine called That's Life, which has an advice column. Readers write in about their problems, and I'm responsible for responding to them. I'm not quite sure why they chose me, but it's my job now, and I can't give it up just like that. Yai Miko just handed me the latest batch of readers' letters. Uh, let's find a place to write the replies, then pack them up and send them back to Yai Publishing House. De acuerdo. A ver. Vale, tenemos que ir a un lugar tranquilo. Ahí. Vale, este es el lugar tranquilo. Huh. This place looks nice and quiet. Why don't we write the replies here? The sooner I get them finished and handed back to the publisher, the sooner we can go do something else. I just hope I don't have another run-in with, uh, you know who at the Yai Publishing House. Anyway, the writing could take me some time. The questions I receive are often so strange that I have to think long and hard about how to best answer them. De acuerdo, iré a echarle un ojo a la editorial ya. Ah, you want to scout ahead? Yeah, that works. This way, if Yai Miko's lying in wait for me there, I can avoid her. But stay sharp, okay? She is a force to be reckoned with. You must be sure to tread carefully. If you spot her, get yourselves back here right away, and we'll run for our lives. I mean, uh, uh we'll make a strategic retreat. Anyway, I'm counting on you. Buah. Vamos a ver si está ya Emiko, ¿no? De acuerdo, tenemos que ir justamente ahí. Vale. A ver. All right, everyone. We are gathered here este? today, united by a common purpose. Now, who can tell me what they think that might Veamos be? De qué se well, trata. of course, it's to tell the whole world about how wonderful Miss Hina is. An excellent answer. How gentle she is. How understanding she is. How delightfully mischievous she can be. We can all testify to the great joy that Miss Hina has brought to our lives. 
But my friends, there are so many people out there in this world who still need Miss Hina's salvation. We can help by spreading the good news about Miss Hina to every soul in the world. My friend, do you have a moment to talk about Miss Hina? La señorita quién? <gasps> friends, I found one. Someone needs our help. Shh, calm your voice down. We don't want to scare him off. Hello, my friend. On this joyous day, we would like to open our hearts to you and tell you about the existence of a perfect being. She is gentle, kind, understanding. She is the brightest star in our sky. Here, have this pamphlet. A ver, so, la hermana mayor think? de Teibat es dulce y hermosa. Responderá todas tus preguntas. Hará todo lo posible para ayudarte con tus preocupaciones. Creo que la he visto antes. Oh, my apologies. In my excitement, I forgot to give you all the details. Have you ever come across a magazine called That's Life, published by the Yae Publishing House? It's a monthly magazine featuring, amongst other things, an advice column. We were among the first readers to send in letters seeking advice, and we've received kind and gentle replies to each one. Although the editor chose to conceal her name, gender, and other details, we all see her as an emphatic older sister figure and feel convinced that she must be the same sort of person in real- oh, There's no mistaking it. Just from her letters, I can feel that she respects me, trusts me. She has a natural ability to connect with people. She's so considerate. She can always sense our true emotions from our letters and never fails to deliver the advice and the encouragement we need. Except when it comes to the topic of romantic love. She's clearly not an expert there. But even then, that just makes her all the more endearing to us. Recently, the column went through a low period where it just wasn't popular at all. In fact, they almost axed it. Fortunately, Yae Publishing House made the decision to publicize her image, and then the column finally started to grow Entonces, in popularity. Hina es... That's right. Miss Hina is the person in charge of That's Life magazine's advice column. She is the one we all admire and adore so greatly. And so, when we heard that Yae Publishing House would be revealing the official likeness of Miss Hina today, we immediately came here from wherever we were, open to witness this grand moment in history. Volver y preguntar a Gorou sobre Please, esto. gaze upon the radiant beauty of Miss Hina. See how truly lovely she is. Oh. De acuerdo, bueno, panfleto misterioso es lo que hemos leído. Y hay que buscar a Gorou, que está justo ahí. Vale, ya estamos. Oh, hey, a ver. There you are. Is uh, <coughs> uh you know who at Yai Publishing House? No, no está. Oh, that's good. ¿Tú qué haces aquí? I just finished writing my replies, so I was about to head to Yai Publishing House. ¿Por qué les estás ayudando a escribirlas? Why? I guess it's because I can help people this way. Also, the editor said to me, this is something that only you are capable of. They made quite a solemn request when they first approached me, so I felt like I couldn't refuse it. But once I'd settled into it, I found myself really enjoying it. Before I knew it, I had written hundreds of replies, and sometimes they'd respond again just to thank me. It made me so happy whenever they'd compliment me. Uh, every time I think about that terrifying woman, I feel like I want nothing to do with Yai Publishing House. But then... Whenever I think about how my replies can help so many people, by this point, I'm so used to it that I'd probably find it hard to adjust if I ever gave it up. Bueno, no puedo dejar que Goro conozca la historia completa. Well, I don't quite know what's going on, but I'd like to get these letters delivered quickly while you know who isn't around. I'm really looking forward to the readers' reactions when they receive my letters. In the army, people are always little reserved when talking to me because I'm a general but those obstacles are removed when you're communicating via letters everyone who writes seems to treat me like that one friend who they can share anything and everything with so I'm not about to let them down let's head over ¿Por qué no las envío por ti? Hmm? but Yai Publishing House isn't far from here if I remember correctly besides this way if uh, you know who does show up we can look out for each other let's go bueno, si tú lo dices... De acuerdo. Hay que ir ahí. De acuerdo. Hemos llegado. Hmm, strange. It seems unusually lively here today. I don't come here often. Is it like this most of the time? Oye, es un caso especial. Hey, there seems to be some commotion over there. Let's check it out. Allow me to reiterate, my friends. We in the Miss Hina fan club must abide by the club rules. Firstly, we mustn't try and probe into Miss Hina's true identity. We of all people cannot cause her any trouble. Secondly, 
Fans of Miss Hina are not to make any controversial statements when representing the fan club. We must exercise self-discipline and present a good image in front of other people. Thirdly, while our mission is to promote Miss Hina in every way possible, if someone we're talking to says they're not interested, we are to respect that. And finally, we are here today because Miss Hina has brought us together, but we are also here to change ourselves for the better, for her sake. Can we do that, people? Can we do that? Yes, we can! Always make her proud and never bring her down. Oh, so this is what they call a fan club. I don't know whose fan club it is, but they are raring to go. Reminds me of the rallying speeches we used to give hey, before she... going into battle. Hmm, something's up, isn't it? I can tell. You're avoiding my gaze. Did something happen? Excuse me, friend. Something about you looks awfully similar to Miss Hina. No se parecen en nada. I see. Well, Estoy one way or another, fate has brought you here. Have you ever heard of Miss Hina? Uh, sorry, I'm not sure. Se parece a ti, bro. Well, now's as good a time as any for you to find out more. Miss Hina is gentle, kind, and considerate. You can tell her anything that is bothering you, and she will patiently advise you on how to deal with it. Oh. Well, she sounds like a very pleasant person to be around. She must be the polar opposite of Yai Miko, right? No sabré decir. But he's the spitting image of Miss Hina. I wonder if they're blood relatives. Shh! Have you forgotten? We may not pry into Miss Hina's identity. At least let's take a photo with him. <clears throat> Friend, may we take a photo with you? We borrowed a camera specifically to witness the official unveiling of Miss Hina's image today. Uh, sure. Why do they want to take a picture with me? Es una peculiar costumbre de la editorial ya. All right, sure. Goro se toma varias imágenes junto a los admiradores. Bueno, bueno, bueno. Goro y sus fans. That should do it. Right. I should really be heading to the eye. Logramos que no se diera cuenta. Make way, everyone. Make way. The Miss Hina billboard is here. Please make some space. Hey, everybody! It's the real Miss Hina. Miss Hina. Miss Hina. Now I'm curious too. Let's go over and take a look. No puedes. Huh? Why? What's the problem? Escucha que ya amigo está viniendo. Really? Then we can't stay. Let's get out of here. As curious as I am to see what all the fuss is about, it'll have to wait until next time. So please join me again the next time I'm delivering letters. Buah. Vale, ahí está el logro oculto. Pues yo, ¿por qué tengo el presentimiento de que me estás ocultando algo? Vale, segundo final, encontradísimo. Vamos a localizar el tercero que, pues... Aquí hay otro, así que vamos a ver este dónde puede estar. Y tenemos que ir al lugar tranquilo. Vale, hemos llegado al lugar tranquilo y vamos a elegir algo diferente. A ver el qué. Me quedaré a acompañarte. Debe ser esta. Today, a new guy came to our village. He was good looking and had a lovely voice. When I peeked at him from behind the door, I felt my cheeks getting hotter and my heart started beating faster and faster. <sighs> See, I can tell right away that this is exactly the kind of question I'm no good at dealing with. The letter seems to be from a young lady, which is not a demographic where I can offer much expertise. What's your take? Suena que está enferma. Hmm, I think so too. Many soldiers have developed similar symptoms in the past when we march in the rain. It's easy to catch a cold in wet weather. I've taken care of ill soldiers personally in the past, so I know this problem well. Hmm. I'll reply. <clears throat> the temperature has dropped recently, and it's likely you've caught a cold. Taking medicine will be an important part of your recovery. <sighs> I think that should do it. Come on. Let's read the next Veamos, letter. Dice? My neighbor is always borrowing money from me, but never seems to be able to pay me back on time. I have tried subtly raising the issue in conversation several times, but he always finds a way to dodge my questions. He was kind to me when I was young. I don't want to make things ugly, but the money issue bothers me a lot. Please help me. Mm, if this is a dispute between neighbors, it must be settled as soon as possible. It's like when conflict arises between generals in the army. The proper policy is to resolve it without delay. The most important thing in military regulations is fairness. It is only right to pay back a debt. 
I want to suggest that the writer demands their money back in no uncertain terms. That makes sense too. Giving the neighbor an ultimatum would likely harm the relationship between them. But the letter also makes it clear that no matter how many hints the writer gives him, the neighbor won't return the money. In that case, how about we reply like this? Why not ask to borrow some money from your neighbor? Any sum he agrees to lend you can be used to offset the amount he owes. Even if he refuses to lend to you, at least by asking to borrow from him, you are sending him the message that your own financial position is... Mm -hmm. I don't know, but it's worth a try. The most important thing is to muster the courage to resist and not give the other person the impression that you're someone they can take advantage of. And we're done with that letter. The next one seems longer. Let me see. Hello, I was born on Narukami Island and now I'm a soldier in the resistance. So this is from one of my troops? Italian get uh, most likely, but I'm not sure who. Before passing any reader's letters on to me, Yai Publishing House has their staff copy each one by hand and redact all names in the process. So I can't be sure who exactly this is. Any I couldn't turn a blind bueno, eye a to the pasa. vision hunt decree, and my anger drove me to join the resistance. My comrades and I have fought side by side, and I have formed deep friendships with them. Since we achieved our goal and the war came to an end, I have remained on Watatsumi Island. But... This is not my hometown, and I often find myself dreaming of the cherry blossoms falling on Narukami Island. I now don't know whether to stay here or return home. The resistance has treated me well, and I've long been disillusioned by the shogunate. But my hometown tugs constantly. How should I reply to him? No puedo ayudarte en esta ocasión. Well, let me think about it. To be blunt, I obviously don't want any soldiers under my command to leave. But... If making them stay causes them pain, how are my actions any different from the Vision Hunt decree? I suppose I'll reply... Hmm. Narukami Island has changed. You should go back and visit. <sighs> that should do it. ¿Estás bien? I'll be okay. Come on, let's finish the rest of the letters. Oh, Goro, y tú escriben todas las cartas. Thanks to you, Writing the responses went very smoothly this time. Let's go and deliver them to the Yai Publishing House. Shall? Sí, vamos para ahí, vamos. De acuerdo. Pues aquí era ahí. Bien, pues eh, ya hemos llegado y a ver qué tal. Ah, great. That's all the replies for this round accounted for. Uh, thank you for all your hard work, Missy. He... <clears throat> uh, Mr. Goro. I think nothing of it. I agreed to help, so it's only right that I do the best I can. Could I? Trouble you to come back to Watatsumi Island with me? I want to find that soldier. Not to persuade them to stay, I just... I don't want them to leave without saying goodbye. Kazuha once told me that the bonds between people whose paths have crossed can never be broken, even after they part ways. But... Maybe I'm scared he might be wrong. People can change quickly, and I worry that the next time I meet my comrade, who fought so bravely alongside me... Vamos a visitar los oh, great! Then let's head off whenever you're ready! Sin miedo, vamos, chaval. Vale, pues hay que ir justamente... Allí. Vale, pues ya hemos llegado. Vamos a ver qué tal. General Goro. And Captain of Swordfish 2. General Captain. Are you here to inspect the camp? Uh, not this time. I just thought I'd come by to catch up while everyone has some downtime. Certainly, General Goro. Anything you want to discuss, we'll share whatever we know. But we haven't been out of the camp lately, so we don't have a whole lot of interesting stories. Actually, I've had something on my mind and wanted to ask everyone's thoughts on the matter. You see, after the war, Her Excellency streamlined the army and a lot of people were transferred to other duties. Do you still have much contact with each other? Uh, to be honest, not much. We're so busy even with just training and patrolling that it's almost impossible to squeeze in the time to meet up. We, we have holidays, but we usually use them to go home and spend time with our nearest and dearest. And besides, everyone's vacations come at different times and our, our schedules rarely overlap. Yeah, I'm busy when they're free and they're busy when I'm free. Anyway, Cosas que pasan, even if we did manage to meet up, what then? We all do different jobs now and we all have new friends who aren't mutually acquainted. <laughs> <sighs> so that's... Really es algo goes, por lo huh? que todos pasamos. I know. It's okay. I just it just seems a pity. You know, having said all that, 
There, there's something else that I've always felt about. Really? Yes. I feel that no matter how long we're apart, and no matter what we might go through in the meantime, all of us will be straight back here if Watatsumi Island is ever in danger. <laughs> Even if we've all changed beyond recognition, we can always trust that we've got each other's backs. And that's one thing that's never gonna change. We're your troops, General Goro. You trained us, you took us into battle, and led the way as we charged against the enemy. Even if we seldom keep in contact now, we are still brothers in arms. If you say the word, we will all pick up our weapons again at a moment's notice. Long live the resistance! <laughs> yes, that's the way it should be. Long live the resistance! Long live the resistance. I won't disturb you any further. You guys keep training hard. Regarding everything else... Tras charlar un rato con los soldados, escuchan unos pasos. Ah, General Goro, you're here. I believe Hiroaki's been hoping to catch you. He's been waiting at the camp for a long time, but never saw you return. Are you planning to head back to camp later? If you're busy, I can go and let him know, so he's... Tell him I'll be right over. I know what I have to do now. Come with me. Venga, vamos al cuartel. Es el objetivín. Ah, vale, que es... hay que seguirle. No matter what changes the future may bring, we will always have each other's backs. Sure, there may be some awkward silences when we meet again after a long time, but in no time at all, we'd be the best of friends again. Vale, pues bien. Hay una misión ahí que no tengo hecha aún. Me la he apuntado. Increíble. Increíble. A ver, Hiroaki. General Goro, I... I... I would like to request permission to leave the Resistance, sir. I know this may seem very abrupt, and in fact, I've only just made the decision. It's all right. Back then, I had so much hatred for the Vision Hunt Decree, and so much disappointment in Narukami Island for supporting it. But after the war ended, I wanted to go back and visit, but I still couldn't make up my mind. Thanks to Miss Hina's encouragement, I was finally able to find the courage to talk to you about. Of course, if you disapprove, I'll obey your orders. I I am your subordinate, after all. Señorita Hina. Miss Hina? It's a long story. Forget it. Never mind her. I approve your application to leave the resistance. General Goro. Come on, don't look so down. It's not like we're never going to see each other again. If you ever have the time, you should come back and visit Watatsumi Island. There's no need to limit yourself to a specific place. Just do what you want to do. No matter where we are, we will always be comrades. Yes, General. Qué bonito. Acompañas al soldado a la costa. I'll take my leave then. Take care of yourself, General Goro. Take care. That was... That was okay. Or should I say, it was for the best. This is how it should be. It should leave you with a smile on your face. Pues sí, tienes razón. Otro final. Despedida con una sonrisa. Nos despedimos con una sonrisa para volver a sonreír en nuestro reencuentro. Bueno, el tercer final. Y quedan dos. Que a ver dónde están. Uno arriba y el otro abajo, ¿eh? Habrá que buscar respuestas diferentes justamente desde aquí. Vamos a ver. Hay que hablar con Goro. Ahí. Bueno, vamos a ver qué cosas diferentes faltan. Vale, a ver. Había que elegir algo diferente aquí. Aquí a lo mejor había otra subopción. No tienes que ir a la editorial ya y ahora mismo. Okay, whatever you think's best. Let's avoid Yai Publishing House for now. Actually, there's something else I have to sort out while I'm on Narukami Island. It's a personal matter. Back when we were fighting the Shogun's army at Nazuchi Beach, I had a box with me that contained some very important items. The odds were stacked against us that day, and the resistance was forced to retreat. I had to abandon the box, but I managed to quickly bury it first. I went back to collect it on this trip, but it turned out someone had already dug it up. So I asked around the area, and the locals said that apparently the Adventurers Guild had beaten me to it. That box is very important to me. I have to get it back from the Adventurers Guild. Por supuesto. Thank you so much. Let's head right over. Time is of the essence. Vale, parece que esto ya nos lleva a otro sitio. Interesante. Vale, hay que ir justo ahí. Vale, hay que hablar con Catherine, así que esto tiene pinta de que nos lleva a otro final, eh. Me gusta. Le cuentas a Catherine que Goro está buscando una caja que enterró. Hmm. 
Bueno. The vale. adventurer who accepted the commission followed their trail and heard that they had buried the treasure at Nazuchi Beach. But when we went to dig up the stolen items, we found many other things buried there along with them. As such, we cannot ascertain which of the items have to do with the treasure hoarder for now. All we can do is hold all related items at the Adventurer's Guild until such a time as we have caught the group of treasure hoarders in question. Then, We will see that all items are returned to their rightful owners. Hmm, I see. I never expected that other people would be burying things in the same place. Well, since these are the rules, I won't press you for it. But might I ask how the investigation is coming along? This is where the difficulty arises. To date, we have still not been able to locate the hiding place of the treasure hoarders. So there's no knowing when this will be resolved. Maybe I could help. I could find the treasure hoarders for you, and once you confirm everything is in order, you'll be able to return my box to me. It's very important to me, so the sooner I get it back, the better. That is... perfectly acceptable. However, many adventurers have investigated this case recently. They have searched far and wide, but their efforts have been fruitless. If the two of you are still interested in taking the case, you may have bueno, to devise la casa de Teco yes, it seems like the only sensible place to start. With any luck, we might be able to find some clues there. Uh, well, actually, since it's come up, what's the pot? So sí, sí, sí. they call it a tea house, despite the fact that it is obviously a hot pot restaurant. Huh, how confusing. Anyway, let's go take a look. Shabu shabu, no me acuerdo qué era, pero mmm, seguro que está bueno. Vale, pues tenemos que ir ahí. Vale, ya hemos llegado. Are you here to investigate the recent theft as well? We're grateful for the assistance. However, I'm afraid I don't have any more clues. It was Tarumaru's number two reserve fund that they stole. They struck late at night while there was no one in the surrounding area, so they could slip in unnoticed. By the time we realized, no, no te it was too late. They left enough clues for us to retrieve the box, but we found no trace of the group of treasure hoarders who dared to target our team. <sighs> I've asked around many times. And there were no eyewitnesses at all. We're definitely dealing with experienced crooks here. Oh, Taramaru, what are you doing out here? El sabe algo. How strange. I don't know what's gotten into Tarumaru today. He says he knows where the treasure hoarders are hiding. Eso quiere decir que tú eres. Uh, how can I describe it? It's like listening to a regional dialect. A lot of it goes over my head, but I can still get the general gist. Anyway, he says he was there at the scene of the crime. The treasure hoarders didn't see Tarumaru as a threat, so he stayed and listened in on their whole conversation. Since there were so many of them and they were armed, Tarumaru didn't dare to bark loudly, so he just had to let them go. Oh, no wonder. Poor boy. He's been acting more anxious than usual lately and is always looking outside. And I thought he just wanted someone to take him for a walk. <coughs> Hmm, yes, that does sound like quite a predicament. Ah, okay, I think I understand now. Yo no. Tarumaro says he heard the treasure hoarders conspiring to hide out at the beach directly below Tenshikaku. No one usually thinks to look there, and it's become something of a safe haven for treasure hoarders. He also mentioned that there were a gang of five people. The leader's name is Kosuke, and the second in command is called Yasuhisa. The leader's scent indicated he was probably from the Narukami Island area, while the two newcomers in the team were more likely to be Thank you, Tarumaro. It must have been hard for you, knowing the details of the crime but not being able to communicate them. Don't you worry. We'll take care of everything from here. We will definitely get your belongings back. Let's go there in person. We might not have any troops with us, but between the two of us, we should be able to deal with a handful of. Sin duda, vamos para allí. ¿Quién ha dicho miedo? Habla con Kozue, que está justamente ahí. De acuerdo. There's danger in the air. And something doesn't smell right. Be careful. Nada, yo no tengo miedo. Son unos pringados. Venid aquí, cerdos. 
Os demuestro quién manda, ¿de acuerdo? Buah, chaval. ¿Habéis visto esto? Madre mía. Estoy fuerte, ¿eh? Didn't you say that the most dangerous place is the safest place to hide? Yeah, and I still maintain that I'm right in principle. Think how many days we've been here. No one else has come looking for us, have they? Can't believe we got caught. Just when the whole thing had nearly blown over. Hey, kid. Who the hell are you guys anyway? Shouldn't waste any more time on these people. Life is tough in the resistance, but none of our troops would ever think about laying a hand on the innocent civilians under their rule. You have things so much better here, and this is how you choose to live your life? It's pure selfishness. We should turn them over to the Adventurers Guild right away. Once their identities are confirmed, they'll get the punishment they deserve. Please, show a little mercy. We'll give you half of everything we've saved up over the years. If you're willing to turn a blind eye on this, anything's up for negotiation. That's enough. Tie them up and take them away. And out of the oh, general. Uh, <laughs> come to think of it. This is not a military camp, so there's no need for me to be so heavy-handed. But thieves still have to be punished. Let's escort them back. Sí, sí, que les den por cerdos. De acuerdo, pues hay que escoltarlos a justo ahí. Vale, Catherine, tenemos noticias. I'm pleased to confirm that these are indeed the individuals who stole from Kamari Tea House. I didn't expect you to catch them so quickly, especially with no new leads to explore. In accordance with the rules. Now that we have procured an oral confession from the treasure hoarders and verified the list of stolen items, we can now return the box to you. Here. Oh, thank goodness. No piensas inspeccionar su interior. Well, let me think. The contents of the box don't belong here. They belong on Watatsumi Island. So, let's head there now and open it. De acuerdo, vamos a la isla Watatsumi. Justamente Ahí. Vale, pues ya hemos llegado. Veamos qué tal. One, two, three. Yes, it looks like they're all here. ¿Qué son esas Some cosas? Personal items that once belonged to the troops under my command. Water bottles, towels, knee guards, just everyday items. But each one bears the handwritten name of its former owner. These were the only things those soldiers had for their families to remember them by. We all knew going into that battle that the odds of survival were slim. Many of the soldiers came to me and said they wanted to leave something behind as a keepsake for their loved ones. You see, their swords and pole arms broke in battle. Their damaged armor wouldn't have been easy to carry. And many of them couldn't write very well, so in the end, all they could leave to their families were these ordinary items. Artifacts. Oh. My soldiers trusted me, but I failed to lead them to victory that day. Then they trusted me with these, and instead of honoring their last wishes right away, I had to hastily bury them in the sand. Every time something like this happens, I tell myself that by the next time I'm faced with the same situation. Ya tienes la caja, es asunto yeah. resuelto. But right now, let me just mourn them for a little while longer. Oh, bueno, muy triste esto. Bueno. El último recuerdo, déjame recordarlos por un instante. De acuerdo, pues penúltimo final y queda uno. Que bueno, está arriba del todo y será el primero, ¿eh? Por lo tanto, vamos a ver si lo encontramos. A ver qué decisión hay que tomar aquí. Hay que volver a hablar con Goro justamente ahí. A ver. There was definitely something strange. Sorry that you had to... since Watts. I also wanted to come and see what things are like. I've never Yo creo que se falta algo está la decisión de abajo otra vez, ¿eh? Really? That, to be honest, so as soon as I've worked through, podemos comenzar con los fundamentos teóricos. Good plan. Digo yo que es lo único que me falta. Address the fear at its root, and then I'll have nothing to be afraid of. But where would I go to learn about this? I wouldn't know anyone on Narukami Island. Oh, let's go back to Watatsumi Island and ask around there. Vale, falta otro logro oculto. De acuerdo, tenemos que ir justamente ahí. Bien. Aquí está el tema. I feel more at ease on Watatsumi Island. I had an idea on the way here. Many of my army comrades are older than me, and I'm sure that handling this kind of situation must be second nature to them by now. But I can't just go to them and say, "Hey, I'm no good at this." So instead, I'm going to go with a cover story. Le cuentan todo a Shuhei. I see. So you're saying that you're 
Oh, <laughs> uh, your friend, sorry, is having some trouble with a certain someone who has an intense personality. Uh, yes, <clears throat> so I'm here on my friend's behalf to ask you for advice on a coping strategy. Hmm. Based on my experience, the easiest way to deal with people like that is just go through ¿Qué the clase de lógica es esa? Well, you see, General Goru, I... <laughs> General Goro's friend, I mean, always listens intently when other people are talking and takes them very seriously. No matter who the other person is, General Goro's friend treats them all equally. Which, don't get me wrong, is something I admire very much. But the other side of the coin is that it makes General Goro's friend very susceptible to falling for the other party's verbal traps and being... Uh, if something like that is bothering you, your best bet is simply to not give the other party your full, undivided attention. Don't hang on their every word, and when they ask a difficult question, just gloss over it. That makes a lot of sense, actually. Huh, so that's how it's done. <laughs> well, it's something to try. What going through the motions is a skill that everyone has to get the hang of as they get older. I'm guessing General Goro's friend is on the younger side. Well, on my friend's behalf, thank you for your advice. Ah, don't mention it. Oh, yes, I heard that Miwa from Songonomiya Shrine is also in the area. Why don't you ask her for advice? She's supposed to be good with interpersonal stuff. It can't hurt to get another perspective. Makes sense. All right. Let's see what Miwa has to say. Vamos a por Miwa. De acuerdo. Most people who wish to have an audience with Her Excellency usually start by presenting their name cards and official documents to Miwa, who then passes them along. So I'm sure Miwa has lots of experience dealing with. All no, tío, pero si el diálogo qué? And the captain of Swordfish. Tío, no tiene sentido este diálogo. What are you doing here? No da tiempo a leerlo. We... Bueno, no da tiempo a que termine A no ser que yo no me hubiera acercado Pero bueno Le cuentan el problema a Miwa I see So General Goro's friend Wants to overcome his weakness Right? Uh, that's right Do you have any advice? Hmm Let me think My advice would be to hide what you are really thinking Eh, bien interesante Cast your minds back Why do you think Yai Miko was able to tease General Goro's friend, and not the other way around? It's because she always has that same smile on her face, so no one ever knows what she's really thinking. If General Goro's friend wants to go head on with her, he must at least learn to do as she does, to conceal the workings of his mind. Ah, you make so much sense. So what you're saying is... My friend just needs to keep his cool, and she won't have the chance to take advantage of him. Exactly. Many things look complicated on the surface, but often, all it comes down to is who loses their cool first. Wonderful! I'm sure with your approach, that uh, friend of mine will be able to overcome his weakness. Then I wish General Goro's friend a great victory. Well, I'm slowly starting to gain confidence. Oh, I, I suddenly remembered. Her Excellency updated her general operational directives recently. Who knows? There may be some useful suggestions in there too. Let's go take a look. Just. Venga, vamos, sin miedo, bro. De acuerdo. Okay, hay que seguir. Handed me the general operational directives in three parts, and I think this is where I placed them. Vale, a ver el diálogo. No me lo jodas. De acuerdo. Ahora no habla. Vale, aquí hay un brillo. Let's see. Deployment and mobilization, logistics, conflict resolution, dealing with outlander merchants. Aha! I got it! How to avoid awkward social situations. Well, that's Her Excellency for you. She thinks of everything, doesn't she? Socializing is as important as a decisive battle. Know yourself and your enemy to succeed. Boy, if even Her Excellency treats this so seriously, then we'd really better be careful. What I take from this is it's not enough just to learn some general countermeasures. We need specific knowledge of Yaimiko's individual weaknesses to achieve ultimate victory. But how do we figure her out? Podremos visitar la editorial ya. Publishing house. Makes sense. Since she goes there often, perhaps we can find some telling details about her there. Let's go and investigate. Vale, vamos para allí. De acuerdo, pues hay que ir a la editorial ya que está ahí. Bien, pues ya hemos llegado. 
Editorial ya, eh. Ah, greetings. Here to buy some books. We just got a new batch of light novels in. Oh, these ones are all the rage at the moment. I must say that Lady Guji has a keen eye for a good book. Almost everyone she picks is a bestseller. Apparently, the rumor goes that if you can impress Lady Guji with your writing, you're just one small step away from becoming the Estos libros los seleccionó ya amigo en persona. Well, first we screen all manuscripts, filter out the bad ones and write synopses for the rest. Then we send those to Lady Guji for final approval. So, you have close dealings with Guji Yai. What sort of person is she? Mhm. Mm uh well, for starters, uh, she's a very busy person. Whenever she visits the Yai publishing house, she never stays for long. Uh, so, actually, we don't know a whole lot about her. Uh, still, she seems very invested in Yai Publishing House, and on occasion, she'll share some of her promotional strategies with us. Take That's Life magazine, for example. When we first started running it, sales were very poor. The return was barely covering costs, and for a while, it was on the verge of being axed. But the fans weren't happy about the prospect of their favorite magazine being discontinued. They kept writing in, begging us to keep it going. So in the end, Lady Guji stepped in and drew up a new marketing plan. Next thing you know, sales are through the roof. That's life. Wait, isn't that... ¿Qué pasa? <laughs> Nothing. It just reminded me of something unrelated. Hmm. I didn't realize Yai Miko personally handled the marketing for Yai Publishing House. <sighs> Yet more proof of her unparalleled skill in reading people's minds. Uh, anyway, uh, thank you very much. Is there anything more you can tell me about Guji Yai? Uh, no, that's all. Look, I'm not sure what your plan is here, but I caution you against trying to second guess, lady. Just my opinion, but she's the most mysterious person I've ever met. You think she's mysterious too? Uh, I guess we can forget about getting any insights this way then. Actually, you said that this batch of light novels was hand-picked by her, right? Maybe we could take a brief look. Perhaps we can get some inspiration from them. Sure. If you're interested, I recommend this book. I've been to other worlds, but I've never tasted defeat. <sighs> the protagonist doesn't have any particularly exciting abilities, but never fails to defeat strong opponents. It's all thanks to their wealth of experience and cunning strategies. Cunning strategies. In that sense, it sounds similar to Her Excellency Sangonomiya. Oh, there's an iconic line in this book that people quite like. One who relinquishes nothing also gains nothing. If you want to win when you're at a disadvantage, a little sacrifice is probably going to be necessary. Huh. Thank you for the valuable advice. Well, one more string to our strategic bow. Although I didn't learn much about my enemy, I've still learned a lot from everyone. It's time to put these theories to the test. Let's go to Yaimiko's lair. The Grand Narukami Shrine. Bueno, vamos para allí. Tiene pinta de que es lo último ya, eh. Hay que ir ahí. De acuerdo, hemos llegado ya, eh. Ay, 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 ay. So this is the Grand Narukami Shrine. It's the first time I've been to this place. Hello there. You look like you have something weighing on your mind. Would you like to draw a fortune slip? The Grand Narukami Shrine's fortune slips have always been very accurate. I've heard that the generals of the past used to employ all sorts of divination techniques to find out their fortune before a battle. I'm not in the habit of it, but uh, since the opportunity's come up, I'd like to give it a try. Let's draw one together. Vale, señores, aquí hay un logro oculto. Tenemos que sacar los cuatro, de acuerdo? Vamos a empezar por este. Porque al final hay que sacar los cuatro para un logro oculto. Así que esto hay que repetirlo cuatro veces. Let's see what we've drawn. Good fortune. Not bad. At least it's something good. It means that our training must have been effective. Things will go differently this time. De acuerdo. Pues eh, voy a repetirlo antes de continuar, de acuerdo? Vale, ahora el segundo. Vamos a ver. No sé si siempre será la misma respuesta, pero bueno. Eso da igual, supongo. Let's see. Great fort. All right. Suerte mayor. So we have uh, luck on our side. We can definitely show her who's boss today. Let's go. Venga, pues ya está. Segunda hecha. De acuerdo, ahora esta de aquí. A ver, aquí seremos unos desgraciados, supongo. 
Let's see what we... I... It's great misfortune. Hold me. I don't feel so good. Es una trampa. Trap? Are you saying that Yaimiko fears us and tried to sabotage our plans by making sure we drew a great misfortune? No knew she'd stoop so low. Well, I will not be intimidated. Vale, pues falta uno. De acuerdo, el último. A ver, nos tienen que dar en algún momento el logro. Let's see. Oh no. It's misfortune. This is a bad sign. The road ahead is going to be a Eso dangerous no nos detendrá. one. You're right. When I think about it, I'm a general of Watatsumi Island. I shouldn't let some Narukami Island fortune slip hold me back. Onward. Pues ya está. Veis, Alea Hakta es. Vaya nombre, también os digo. Vaya nombre. Pues ya está. Creo que esto es lo último. Any second now, we'll be face to face with her. Enseñémosle quién manda. All our hard work is definitely going to pay off. She can forget about teasing me this time. Encuentras a Yamiko con Goro. Oh? You arrived a little later than expected. Did you run into some trouble along the way? Sabías que vendríamos. But of course. That's why I'm here waiting for you. <laughs> so what if you knew we were coming? This time we won't get caught off guard. We're here to <laughs> <laughs> Slow down. No need to rush. Let me guess. In the past, I used to have many believers coming to see me at the shrine every day. And most of them came for the same reason. Especially those who came in pairs. Nine times out of ten, they were here seeking to know their future fate. Hoping that it would be a lifetime together. If you're interested, I'd be quite happy to do a reading for you two. T together for a lifetime? Calma, Goro, tranquilízate. Remember what Shuhei said? We mustn't pay too much attention to what she says. Otherwise, we may be fooled by her cunning words. Now that I think about it, perhaps I never needed to recommend that store to you in the first place. You can just leave all your fur grooming to your little friend here. Imagine him holding your tail in one hand, combing it gently with the other. Uh oh, not good. My mind is already full of mental images. No puedo de mi I'll have to resort to the method Miwa taught us. Sí, sí, sí. By the way, there's really no point in trying to hide the way you feel. You might be able to remain stony-faced if you really try, but with your tail swishing behind you. <laughs> what? Then again, you know what? Most people only pay attention to your tail, but those soft, pointy ears are no really puedo just as There's only one method left. A cunning strategy that n this is going to hurt me almost as much as it hurts my opponent. But there's no other way. But I think the real reason you know me so well is that you're just like me. Just like me, you hug your tail when you go to sleep. And just like me, you daydream about someone else grooming your tail for you. I see. You decided to admit your feelings in an effort to bring me down with you. Not bad. I suppose this is a step forward for you. But I'm afraid. I don't have a tail at all. No! Te uh, uh, no. Retreat! Retreat! Fighting on is futile. Better to conserve resources for the next confrontation. We're out of here! When I get back, I'm going to train harder than I've ever trained before. I won't lose to her again! Bye bye now. Come again soon. Madre mía, que paliza. Bueno, pues ya está. Retirada estratégica la próxima vez. Bueno, pues última recompensa. Nada mal. Y ahora sí, tenemos ya todos los finales, ¿de acuerdo? Absolutamente todos. Nada mal. Y ahí tenemos... Cada uno de ellos. ¡Qué imágenes tan bonitas! ¡Qué imágenes tan bonitas! Contarlo o no contarlo, esa es la cuestión. Descubre la verdadera identidad de la señorita Gina en la editorial Yae. Alea Hakta Est, obtén todos los palillos de la fortuna en el santuario y general de Watatsumi. Completa operaciones especiales del general canino y desbloquea todos los finales.